Welcome to Great Times with Games and my playthrough of Gaslands Refueled, a game of post-apocalyptic vehicular mayhem. This is the second half of my playthrough of the Arena of Death scenario. If you haven't watched the first half yet, follow the link and then come back here for more. If you have, then buckle up because here comes Carnage! It's Gear Phase 4, here we go! The Wardens start off with a fisherman trying to swerve around that turret. The roll isn't great, but at this point, he's looking to rack up as many hazards as possible. He'll even gear down. Since it's the beginning of the gear phase, the turret shoots. Wow, four hits! And only one evade! That takes the monster truck out! It is wrecked! What a way to start this gear phase! The fisherman must move forward one short straight now, and that's a collision! That might have been the plan all along. Let's see here. Heatwave will evade in gear 3. The fisherman uses his perk to add 8 hazards to his gear 3, and Heatwave's gear 3 for a total of 14 attack dice. And that is an amazing evade roll to only take 4 damage. Let's see if there's more incoming damage though as we check for an explosion. No explosion! The Wardens get an audience vote here. Somehow, Heatwave survived the impact. However, now they have too many hazards after taking two from that collision. They're going to wipe out. Flip check and pass! They'll get rotated though and of course heading straight for another collision. What a start to this second half! The carnage has arrived! It's Gear Phase 5, but no vehicle is in 5th gear or 6th either, so we'll go back to Gear Phase 1. The Wardens hold initiative, and they'll start with Joe Babby veering straight through that obstacle since he started touching it. He rolls and gets a shift and a hazard. Since it's Gear Phase 1 and he's in Gear 3, he'll just use the shift to cancel the hazard. The turret activates and shoots, but misses. Joe Babby shoots back with heavy machine gun and minigun. Four hits! Trucks have three crews, so there's one crew that can still fire. And Heatwave is in range. He shoots his handgun and double hit! Heatwave is unable to evade. That's a ton of damage Heatwave has had to endure, and they're down to four hull. Tremors is up and is going to turn into the battle. Skid dice show a hazard and a shift. That shift will cancel a hazard and keep him at four hazards. They've got a good look at Joe Babby now, and so they unload their minigun and two handguns. Three hits! I was hoping for more there, but no evades is good news either way. Over to Rami now, who's still far from the action. He does a medium straight and rolls a skid dice. Not bad, so one shift cancels the slide and the other two remove hazards. Unfortunately, he's not in range of any of the Ordered Inferno yet. So let's go over to Heatwave. Is the collision inevitable? Let's try a hairpin. Ooh, that is close. Skid dice? Let's cancel the slide and use the other shift to go into second gear. Let's see now. Yep, the template is touching. Ugh, oh, another collision. It's only gear 2 though, so let's see. Come on, really? Three damage and they're down to one hull point. Okay, we can't forget about that turret now. This could be it. Misses! Heatwave is still going. Max the Mad is up now and he has Joe Babby and some Rex in his way. So he's going to veer left. He rolls his skid dice and gets two shifts and a slide. One shift to cancel the slide and the other to remove a hazard. Oh no! Looks like it collides with Joe Babby! Both will evade, but still pick up one hazard. Flame Top's turn. They've got five hazards, so I decided to spend an audience vote for Thunder Supplies, which removes D6 hazards. Oh come on! A one wasn't as great a boost as I'd hoped. Alright, let's move them around this obstacle. Skid dice roll? Hmm. Let's cancel the slide and leave the spin to position Flame Top better. Luckily, they removed that hazard or they'd be wiping out right now. The turret's up and shoots. One hit. 
which they can't evade. Let's shoot back with double handguns. Three hits is pretty good, but it doesn't destroy it yet. Red Sonya goes next, and she might have a good look at Flame Top here. She does a hard turn around that turret, and rolls an amazing skid check. She'll use a shift to gear up, and then use the remaining ones to remove hazards. It looks like she turned too hard though and doesn't have range on Flame Top. Finally some good luck for the order. The turret has range though, and shoots for one hit. She evades. Gearing up to third probably helped there. She'll shoot back and do one damage. Another gear phase down and the damage is piling up. Let's keep it going! Gear phase two! Heatwave wants to get out of trouble, so let's move him first. He'll turn and roll some skid dice. There you go! One shift to gear up and then the others to remove hazards. Heatwave with one hull point, but still battling on. Red Sonya's up and she's on the hunt for flame top, so she turns into them. The roll is terrible though. She doesn't want to slide here. Much better. So she'll keep the spin and rotate zero degrees. That adds a hazard making it four, which activates her perk Madman. Madman allows her to remove a hazard and place it on an enemy within medium range. There you go, Flame Top. I was trying so hard to keep the hazards down, but Red Sonya made sure they got to the six. But first, the turret shoots at Red Sonya. One hit and one evade. Red Sonya's turn and she unloads her machine gun into Flame Top. Only one hit and Flame Top evades. Time to resolve the wipeout. Flip check first. Oh no! They flip a medium straight forward and take two damage. Gear one to boot. And then my kids spun him around to face an obstacle as usual. Okay, so here I made a mistake. I activated Flame Top after they'd wiped out and returned to first gear. Oh well, here we go. They'll do a reverse medium using the bonus shift to gear up. That's actually not a bad spot to end up. Max the Mad is next and he has Heatwave in his sights. He'll do a medium straight, ignoring Joe Babby since they start touching each other. He rolls a skid dice. One shift will cancel a hazard and the other will remove another, keeping him in gear 3. He set himself up perfectly. Poor Heatwave. Max unleashes double machine gun fire for two hits. And that's enough. Heatwave can't evade and is wrecked. I feel like I didn't get the max out of my monster truck. From poor driving to collisions to getting shot down. Ugh. Does he explode? Yes, he does, and tremors will get caught in the blast. Luckily, the explosion is weak. It could have been so much worse. Tremors doesn't evade anyway. And now the blast adds hazards. This is going from bad to worse. Tremors is going to wipe out. They pass the flip check, but this gives my kids another opportunity to face my vehicle any way they want. And of course, it's directly at the obstacle. I said this was getting worse, right? Rami activates and decides on a hard left turn. He's heading straight for Flame Top. First, some skid dice. He'll cancel the slide and gear up to third gear, too. Rami only has handguns, so that's what the cruel fire. One hit, but Flame Top evades. Now on to Joe Babby, who's in a tough spot. There are wrecks and obstacles all around him, so he decides to do a right hairpin and gets a horrible roll. And now even worse. That's four hazards on that roll with a slide that'll cause a collision. Let's see what the damage is. Two damage, now we have to resolve the wipeout. Does he flip? Nope. I do finally get to rotate a vehicle and I'll have it face the wreck for another impending collision. It's looking pretty grim for the Order of the Inferno with no upcoming activations. Is this it? Gear Phase 3, let's go! Max the Mad is going in for the kill with a left hairpin turn. His roll isn't great though, or is it? He'll remove the hazard with a shift and keep the spin and slide. And just like that with some fancy maneuvering, Max is lying Tremors up. He blasts his double machine guns for two hits. 
Tremors can't evade and takes the two damage, down to three hull remaining, and really just a sitting duck at this point. Red Sonya smells blood and veers left gaining a hazard and rolling her dice. She doesn't like it and pushes it. Definitely better. Look at the position she's put herself in. But first there's still a turret on the table, but out of range. An excellent move by the Warden Driver. And now she fires her heavy machine gun and handgun. Three hits. Tremors is wrecked. Poor Tremors. They'll move a short straight forward and collide with the junkyard cars. Now, will they go down quietly or explode and get Red Sonya back? Explosion! Max the Mad is just out of range, but two hits incoming on Red Sonya. She can't evade and takes two damage. The Order of the Inferno gained three audience votes, but too little too late here. So here I goofed up again. The explosion has the blast keyword meaning that any uncancelled hits should also cause hazards, which would put Red Sonya at six hazards, and she should have wiped out. But here we are with the last remaining Order of the Inferno vehicle, and Rami is ready to end it right here. A gentle turn straight into Flame Top. Skid Dice. He shifts up to gear four and cancels a hazard. Smash! Flame Top knows they're going down, so doesn't evade and smashes back. Eight versus six dice and a massive eight versus six damage. Flame Top is wrecked. Rami barely survives, but will Flame Top explode? No, Rami lives to fight another day. It's all over. The Wardens have shown their dominance with a resounding victory. The Arena of Death has claimed its victims and the fans go home satisfied from another night of Gaslands. In the end, the superior numbers of the Wardens and lack of long range weapons for the Order of the Inferno played major factors. But maybe they'll meet again one day and the Order can get its revenge. Until next time, see you on Mars!